Hey guys, so um, this is Shmu coming at you with the post Pesach show. I want to do this just very quickly. Um, first off, I should probably apologize that um, I just haven't been able to get around to doing um, the Parsha studies. Um, I've been, um, you know, aside from just dealing with my own personal illness, um, I've had, um, you know, just so much work getting um, to Pesach. And, uh, uh, you know, everyone knows from Purim on, uh, everything is about Pesach. Um, we, we, we just become, you know, completely, uh, you know, focused on, you know, just trying to make a, you know, as kosher and as joyful uh, Pesach as we possibly can. And, uh, um, you know, I hopefully, you know, now that, you know, Pesach is behind us and, you know, all of that work, um, I can start getting back to, um, Tackling the parashiot again and, you know, studying our weekly on um, Torah together. Um, you know, that's really, you know, one of the things that I love uh, sharing with you guys the most. Uh, but, uh, you know, there are some special unique things about this season um, that I wanted to point out. Because, uh, you know, just because Pesach is behind us doesn't mean that this season of our freedom is over. It still continues on. Um, and, uh, um, you know, some of the ways that we are able to take advantage of, uh, you know, this season the most and, um, to, you know, celebrate and to really operate and walk in, you know, the freedom that, you know, we struggle so much, you know, to try to, you know, come in, um, you know, to come in contact with, to, you know, come into, you know, relation with and understanding with. Uh, you know, through, uh, you know, the whole celebration of this Passover season, um, is, um, to, you know, work on our own self-development and enrichment and, uh, you know, begin to get rid of some of those unrefined slave-like traits that are inside of us. And, um, we can do this through many forms of, of prayers and, and meditations. And, uh, um, you know, one of the best ways to do it is through the Sefirat HaOmer, um, the counting of um, the Omer that goes from Pesach until Shavuot. Um, you know, we have uh, seven weeks, uh, you know, which to reflect and um, to, worry and to work on um, purifying our souls and, and, and uh, you know, on getting in touch with our emotional states and with our intellect in order to, um, you know, make ourselves better people. Um, and there's, you know, also some, you know, other things that, you know, we have studied about um, over the past year, especially um, certain medications, um, meditations, such as on um, the Tikkun Hatzot, um, the Midnight um, Rites, the um, Midnight Prayers, um, because the seasons change, um, there's also certain, um, you know, things that we need to keep in mind when planning um, for that as well. Um, all of these resources, um, you know, you're going to find here in, in this blog, um, along with um, the resources for um, learning how to do the meditation of Psalm 67, as it's one of um, the most central parts of um, the Sefira Ta'omed. And um, hopefully that will, you know, help, you know, aliven, you know, your uh, experience and, you know, put a little, you know, mystical touch, you know, in there for you. And, um, but um, again, I, you know, I, I want to get back to, you know, just, uh, you know, commending everyone when it comes to, you know, how much hard work you have all done, uh, you know, during this, um, you know, Pesach season. Um, you know, it's, um, very, very hard, you know, going through all this work of, uh, you know, cleaning, of, you know, scrutinizing every little thing. Um, and I've even seen how much heat some of you have taken for it in the Twitter responses and, you know, the Facebook replies, um, with, um, uh, people who aren't observant or on uh, people who aren't Jewish thinking that, um, you know, it's um, so ridiculous um, that, you know, we, uh, you know, scrutinize all of these things. Um, but, you know, I want to say well done for those of you who understand that, 
Um, it's not about us, um, you know, trying to do things, um, trying to get hamits out of our house so that God won't be angry with us. It's really more about us trying to get the hamets, which is a symbol of, of, of sin and pride, out of our homes and out of our lives so that we can make a fresh start again. And we start this spiritual new year fresh again, um, you know, able to, um, you know, walk into it, you know, in, in, in a new level of freedom and with dignity. And, uh, you know, well done to you know, all of you who you know, stayed the course and, you know, got through that. Um, you know, for, um, you know, this Pesach, you, you know, really is uh, one of my, you know, favorite holidays. I'm sure it is, you know, for most of you. Um, by and far, most people who aren't even, you know, observant go far out of their way, um, you know, to stay away from, you know, bread and the wheat products and everything. Because um, people, you know, really want to make the effort, you know, to try to connect. Um, you know, as we learned in the weeks leading up to Pesach, uh, you know, the Torah tells us that, you know, people who eat hummets during, um, you know, Pesach, that they, you know, their soul is cut off. And, uh, um, you know, we don't ever, uh, really want to disconnect ourselves, um, uh, from, 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 from each other, from our source of strength, from, from our people and from our values, um, and, you know, people, um, really do go through the effort in any ways that they can. And, um, you know, me living outside of the big cities now, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, also living with family that, uh, you know, do not know about Jewish observance when, when it comes to these things. They only know, the, you know, my, my, my own, um, you know, experiences. Uh, you know, I'm, I, I don't really have all the latitude to be as um, active as and, and as observant as um, you know I would like to be, and you know it really uh, you know for a lot of people was very difficult getting through the holiday alone. And I myself, I just had me and my niece, you know, who was keeping me company to celebrate. Uh, you know, bless her seven you know, year old heart. <laughs> you know, one of the, the one of the funniest reflections. Uh, you know, that anyone had this week on, on Pesach, specifically celebrating Pesach alone. Uh, it was Rabbi Rabs, uh, who said that, you know, being caught doing a Seder by yourself is like being caught masturbating. I mean, it's really, uh, that shameful and, 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 and that embarrassing. Um, and, and it really is. I mean, you know, even though, <laughs> honestly, uh, Pesach is one of those holidays that I learned uh, to do myself first. Um, it, it's one of those holidays that I have actually um, very rarely celebrated on my own. And that's because, you know, living in, in uh, you know, from communities or even, you know, really was the thing to invite guests over. You know, I, I was so close to some of the families that they just would not hear uh, of me celebrating on my own, by myself, uh, and uh, um, so I'm just not used to doing it by myself. It's just, you know, completely out of my nature, uh, you know, to um, do it on your own. And really, for the most part, um, you know, the Seder is really made to be something that is interactive. Uh, you know, you sing songs with each other, you want to have as much involvement with people as possible. And, uh, um, you know, you just really don't get that by yourself. Um, but, you know, this year I actually, you know, um, went, um, you know, out on a limb and did something that is very unexpected of me. Those of you who know me know that I'm very, very traditional. And it doesn't sound like the most Pesach thick, you know, to, thing to do. But I, um, you know, have um, friends scattered all over the country who just weren't able to you know, connect and, and uh, could not afford even to go to some of the community uh, theaters. So uh, on Google Hangouts, I did my first ever online theater and, you know, was able to enjoy it with my great friend Jacob out there in uh, North Carolina. And um, it was just a wonderful time to be able to, uh, you know, slowly go through and the theater together, you know, to share um, in it and, and to really feel connected, uh, you know, over the distance. And, uh, even though it's not the most ideal way that, 
Well, I would have liked to have celebrated uh, the Pesach holiday. Um, you know, it really was a way to uh, connect, and uh, I just might do it again. Um, but um, again, I just want to commend everyone on all the hard work that you're doing on the soul level throughout this Zman uh, thing, this 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 season of our freedom. And, um, all I can say from here on out is uh, on to bigger and better things, on to Harsinai.